What is up? What is up? The MD's Football Wrap with your host, the MAD, the D, the O, the W, you know the rest. And here we are celebrating after yet another win in what is becoming a fine, fine season. Now I have to preface this video with this fact and long time viewers of the show will be fully aware that my girlfriend is a massive West Coast Eagles fan. Okay, she helps me with all the videos, she's behind the scenes filming, helps me edit, helps me brainstorm, but this week's a bit tough for her, she's only here to fulfill her contractual agreement. And if you will, sweetheart, so I can, sweetie, so I can do that. Come on. Now, obviously we had it nowhere near as easy this week as last week. Really had to fight back from what was quite considerably a very flat start. West Coast are a much, much improved team. They've got some new kids running around doing some really good things. But more importantly, a lot of their older players are playing like they used to. Retro style. you got Dean Cox, you got Andrew Emberley, Daniel Kerr in particular, playing like it was 2006 again. <laughs> Means I'm expecting Ben Cousins to push him down a nightclub staircase any day now. <laughs> Oh, did I cross the line? Am I behind the line? I'm just dancing. I'm just dancing. It's all good. It's all good. I'm getting sick of this. Well, I can't hear it when losers speak. You're a turd. <laughs> Sweetie. No, come back. Sweetie. Okay. Alright. Don't need her, buddy. You don't need her. Do this on your own. Okay. Okay. One man wolf pack. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Okay, we're back. Technical difficulties aside, I'm on my own. I think I can handle my own votes. One vote for the Mad Dog Medallion to Jakey Melksham. Now, this is the guy who only got last week a late, late, late recall. Minutes before the game started, had to jump in as a sub. This week dropped 20 odd possessions in a classy effort. It shows you the kind of depth we're rocking with at the moment. Two votes we're going to send to Stu Cramery, who's a sensation, coming equal fifth in the Coleman medal. My God, man, settle it down. Three votes comes to the man whose name I'm getting quite sick of saying. It starts with a J and it ends with an Ob Watson. What a man, our hero, Job Watson. You know what? He would be right, right up there in the Brownlow medal voting at the moment. And if he does happen to win one, that would be a great achievement for him. I mean, you'd keep it in the drawer, maybe hang it up in the toilet, because we know prior to place at his place would be his mad dog medallions. Now, don't worry about me and my lady friend, because if I know one thing, it's football. But if I know one other thing, it's romance. Waiting for her at home are ten long stemmed roses and a rather large, rather expensive stuffed teddy bear. I got this. Anyway, I'm going to end on that note. Follow me on Twitter, at EFCMD. Jump on board, see what I've got to say. We've got Brisbane next week. I mean... Oh, a message. <laughs> yes, it's from her. A picture message. Ah, groveling. Oh, my God. Mr. Hugglesworth, the flowers are not meant to go there. Rest in peace, my friend. I think that'll do me for one more week. I've been the mad dog. I gotta go. Ah! Oh. That's, that's calming. And <laughs> with renewed interest, with renewed confidence, I just spat. Did the camera get that? Spat. No. <laughs>